All right, here's an article that somebody sent to me that I thought was quite interesting and could very well be biblical. And it's talking about an alliance between the European Union and the United States to meet the challenges posed by China. And the Chinese have a very aggressive uh, schedule to catch up with and surpass the United States in every aspect that there is. And here is uh, what their goal is. This comes from a Chinese uh, sociologist, Dr. Li Yang, I guess it is, said that in uh, October of 2020, in a speech that he delivered at a dialogue forum in China, he stated that the Ch China would overtake the United States in GDP by 2027. And that COVID-19 has been harmful to the U.S. and Europe, but beneficial to China and North Korea. It was said that this might be delayed for a year or two, but uh, this year, God has pulled off a little trick, right? God created COVID-19 and spread it to every country in the world. So they think that because this is taking place, that uh, China may overtake the United States in GDP before 2027. Now, he also tried to say that... Uh, in China, there was only 4,000 dead. But the point he was trying to make is that if they, if the Chinese only lost 4,000 people versus the United States, who's lost over 220,000, we really haven't lost a single person. So that kind of gives you an idea as to what their logic is toward this COVID-19 pandemic or pestilence. And here's a statement that he made that should scare every person in the free world. It says, in the global economy, China stands out. We are ahead of schedule in terms of overtaking the United States. There will be no problem reaching this goal in 2027. The U.S. will not survive. And in his closing remarks, he says, As long as 1.4 billion Chinese people eat, sleep, defecate, and urinate every day, as long as we go to work every day, we will drive the U.S. to its death. Now, this same doctor who claims that uh, China only has lost 4,000 people also stated that uh, North Korea has had zero infections. Uh, we, we know that's simply not the case. But that is definitely how uh, where China is headed and what their goal is. And it is right with propaganda. But anyway, getting back to my original uh, article, that is why the European Union is, is interested in joining an alliance, joining forces with the United States to combat what they perceive to be an existential threat from China. And make no, no mistake, this is a very dangerous country and along with their allies. But let me tell you where I'm going with this. I think it's prophetic in this way right here. I think at some point in time that there is going to be a split in the European Union in which 10 nations are going to uh, go free from the European Union and form a new alliance. And out of this alliance, the Antichrist will rise. Now, that is the description of what is given in Revelation chapter 17, when it talks about a beast that is being ridden by a woman known as Mystery Babylon. And it basically talks about that this woman controls the beast, but at some point in time, Scripture says in that chapter that God will put it in their heart and he will bless them and they will destroy uh, Mystery Babylon because they hate her. So this alliance between Mystery Babylon and the ten nations of the Antichrist will come together, but the uh, woman will continue to control them up until about the midway point, and that's when Satan will come to earth and be confined to his, this earth with the demons. And God will place it in the mind of these ten nations to destroy Mystery Babylon. And he'll give them the means to do so as well. Well, I believe that that very well could be what, this, what is being talked about right now and what is being proposed by the European Union. But again, I must tell you this, that I do believe that uh, the scripture is accurate and very specific. So at some point in time, I believe that there will be 10 nations. That's why I believe that the European Union at some point in time is going to split. These 10 nations are going to be ruled by the Antichrist, and they're going to come into an alliance with what I believe will be the United States. But at some point in time, toward the middle part of the tribulation period, uh, Satan will have no part in this alliance and also god will place it upon the ten nations heart and will give them the means to do so to destroy mystery babylon now that is scripture and that's that's like it says pointed out in revelation chapter 17 i believe it's right around chapter 15 or through 17 and yes as i look it up that's basically right around the the, the, the uh, scripture where it does say that uh, these ten nations hated the whore and god put it in their heart to go destroy it 
Now, I believe that Mystery Babylon will be the United States. Others believe that it will be Rome. I guess we'll have to wait and see uh, which one it is. But either way, at some point in time, this nation that is dictating its rule over the ten nations of the Antichrist will be defeated. And it goes on to describe it in further detail of their destruction in the next chapter, in chapter 18. But as we go into 2021, these are the things that you should be looking for. Number one, I don't think that this pestilence is going away anytime soon. And on the heels of that pestilence, you're probably going to see another because that's really one of the signs that God places at the forefront as the end times start to develop. Another, of course, is earthquakes, famines, and plagues. I can tell you right now that what happened in 2020, which was the locust plague that sweeped across Africa into the Middle East and on into China, was somewhat overlooked because of uh, what happened with COVID-19. But I can say look for look for more of that to take place along with another probably another pandemic. And I really look for powerful earthquakes to begin popping up over in various parts of the world. And when you see these things begin to happen, you know that we're about ready to start the tribulation period, the gateway of the tribulation period, which is a peace with many that is being built upon right now. And if President Trump is not the one to finish it, there will be somebody else that will. And something else that you need to look at. Number one, be on the lookout for the Temple Mount to be resurrected in the coming days. Now, I'm not talking about actual days. I just mean very soon. I think you're going to be seeing the remnants of a peace accord that is going to allow Israel to rebuild their temple on the Temple Mount. And if you thought this uh, peace accord that is developing right now was a miracle, I'm actually waiting for the temple to be rebuilt. That, I believe, is the biggest miracle of all. I would have never believed in a million years that the Arab or Islamic world would allow Israel to put a temple on the mount, but the Bible says they will. And, of course, that's found in Revelation chapter 11, verse 1. So these are definitely some things that you should be keeping an eye on. You know, I understand that everybody's worried about this COVID-19 virus, pandemic, whatever you want to call it. But everyone is worried about that, and uh, they're looking to look past that. But the bottom line is, is this is the last day. This is the end times. The birth pangs are going to start coming quicker and quicker and become more powerful and will come from everywhere. And if you're worried now and you're not a Christian, it's going to get a whole lot more worrisome. This is why Luke 21, 6 says, Men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. That is a description of what will take place during the end times. So if you're afraid right now, it's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. And that's why I want to compel you to know the Lord today. You know, the only way you're going to go to heaven is through Jesus Christ. Nobody's good enough to get there. You know, it's kind of like saying, Father Time. The only fighter that's ever been undefeated has been death itself. No man has ever defeated death except for Jesus Christ. And in doing so, he died on the cross for you, paying for your sins so that you might have eternal life. And you know, today he's compelling you to come to him, repent of your sins, believe that he died on the cross for you, and paid that sin debt, confessing him as your Lord and Savior, and from this day forward living for him. So if you haven't made that decision to come to the Lord, I encourage you to do so before it's everlasting too late. Hell is no joke, and you absolutely don't want to end up there. And you that are Christians, you need a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. If you have lost friends and loved ones, you need to get a copy of this book and put it in their hands. At least then they will have a guide that will tell them what's next. On the horizon, when the uh, rapture of the church takes place and the Tribulation Period begins. And you know, the best part is, is that at the very beginning it tells them that they need Jesus as Savior. And why they need Jesus as Savior. So go down to the description section of this video, grab your copy. Click on the link that'll take you to my website so that you can get this book. And you know, I wouldn't just get one, I'd get a couple. Start passing them out to all your friends and neighbors. And I hope you'll do that today. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.